Kaylee with the Drain Strainer. I'm actually here with Brian Ash, who was the founder and president of Drain Strainer. Now, tell me about the Drain Strainer. How does it work? What do, what do you do with it? All right, well, what the Drain Strainer is, is it's got a catch tray where when the water comes in, it will catch all the food debris and allow the water to go ahead and filter out, but yet you catch all the food so it doesn't clog up your pipes. Who needs it? I mean, how did you come up with the idea? I've owned an Italian restaurant for 15 years, and when we first opened, we kept having a problem with when we would boil our pastas and drain them in our sinks, the noodles would end up going down and clogging up our grease trap. Instead of having to get it cleaned out all the time, I looked over at my dish machine one day and I saw the catch tray underneath it. The catch all stuff that goes down, and keeps the pipes from getting clogged out. And I'm like, I want one of those in between my sinks and my grease trap, and that'll catch all the noodles that'll keep it from getting clogged up. So, how did the first one get built? Well, I had my handyman take some spare parts from a dish machine and build one of those. And when I was done, I joked to myself that someone can make a million dollars selling these because this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. We never had any other problems after that. And once I decided to get out of the restaurant business, I decided to revisit the idea, and that's how the drain strainer was born. But then you found out that there was more than one way to use it? Yeah, I started investigating a little bit more, and I figured that you could have a smaller version, and you could put it underneath bar sinks, and it could keep, like, soda straws or lemons from clogging up those pipes. Restaurants, cafeterias, hotels, any type of commercial kitchen can use something like this to keep from having drain problems. So can you explain to everyone how it would actually replace a commercial garbage disposal? Sure. The whole idea is that instead of grinding up the food and having it go down into the sewer system, it can actually catch all that food and you can either throw it away or you can save it for compost or whatever. But actually some uh, municipalities have already started to outlaw commercial garbage disposals because they don't want all that food going down and clogging up their sewer system. And so in some places where it's already been outlawed, we'll often find that those type of mandates start on the coast and end up working their way across the nation. But even if it's not banned, a drain strainer is superior to a commercial garbage disposal because it doesn't need any power. It's not going to grind up anything it's not supposed to, like silverware or something like that. And so I think it's a much more effective, economical solution than a commercial garbage disposal. So how is a drain strainer different from other solutions? Well, what I like about the drain strainer is there's methods that will screen from inside the sinks, and those will work really great on stopping the food, but unfortunately they also stop the water. And so the sinks don't drain, the staff ends up getting frustrated, and they end up bypassing the system and you're right back where you started. I also think it's better than chemicals or microorganisms that are supposed to eat up all the food solids. Those can only do so much before they're overloaded and they're not doing the job. What's good about the drain strainer is the sinks still drain quickly, but it's after the water's already come out of the sink, but before the food debris has a chance to go down the pipes.